Hey guys, my name is William and today's video we're going to show you how to structure your location pages so they'll rank on Google. We're going to show you how to structure your location pages to rank with Google. So I have a lot of people that come to me and be like, oh my God, I did these location pages, they're not ranking. And almost 99% of the time, I can show you exactly why they're not ranking. They don't have unique content on them. Um, they don't have information pulling in from Google. They don't have local links or linking out to local areas, things to do, places, go, stuff like that. If you want to see how I structure a page, number one, here's how I do it. I put all the same services on that location page. I create a template. They have all your services. The only thing I change really on that is going to be these two things, your H1 and your H2s. The H1 is always going to be the service plus the city name, always. Or it would be service near me, plumbing near me, plus city. Okay, then the H2s are going to be the other services. Your main keyword up at the top, plumber plus Jacksonville, plumber plus Orlando, then all the other services are going to be H2s. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to show you this. If we go over here to our blank, I'm going to show you exactly how to do go over to this website right quick this is just my service pages we go over here to service areas and you'll see exactly what I mean this is your h1 your h2s are all your different information and services see Kentucky Meyer the main thing that changes besides h1 and h2s is this information down here I will go and I will go okay what are the neighborhoods in st. Louis And then I have now a list of all these neighborhoods in St. Louis, and I want to put them here. But then after I do that, I want to make sure all of them are hyperlinked over to Google, to the Google Maps, right? I want to pull all this information from Google Maps. And I put all hyperlinked over here, each one of these. If you click on any one of them, it takes you over to that neighborhood in that specific city, okay? Then I put in the weather app, right? I put in the weather app. This is this forecast7.com. It's where it's pulling the information from, okay? Then I put in the top sites. Well, how do I get the top sites? Let's go over here. Things to do in St. Louis. Things to do. And Google, once again, is going to give us on the silver platter what is happening in St. Louis, things to do, places to go. And I take that information and I plop it right in here. I take the images and I hot link them. What do you mean by hot linking? Hot linking simply means right click, copy image, go back into your page and control V and paste it in. And then I'm going to hyperlink it towards this area, this area, this area, this area, and so on and so forth. All right, if you were to click on any one of these, this takes you over to the Gateway Arch, which is in St. Louis. It's a monument. Every single one of these will do the same thing. Top sites by interest. You know, all of this is pulled from here. Every last bit of it. Notable neighborhoods. And then last but not least, I take a map and I embed it into this website. Most people... When they embed a map, let's say, of St. Louis, this is what they're doing. You go share, embed map, and that's the end of it. They don't do anything else. Not me, Jack. You go embed. This is an iframe, which means I can insert a lot of information in here. All right? So, for example, right here we see this percentage 20. That means space. So, basically, it's saying St. Louis space. So what I want to do is I want to go in here where it says St. Louis. I go, for instance, um, percentage 20, sod, percentage 20, installation, percentage 20, mirror, percentage 20, 
me. Now when I embed this inside of my website, it will say, in the hyperlink, it will say, sod installation near me, St. Louis. Okay. Once again, my name is William. And we went over today how we structure our location pages so that they rank. Everyone that follows my method, I have yet to have anyone come to me and say, hey, Google Search Console is not showing any of these pages. No, I get the exact opposite. Damn, these things have been, you know, we just did them on Friday and they're already ranking within less than a week. And they're blown away because they've tried other methods and they don't work. Well, you're trying other people's methods that haven't been doing it for this long, okay? If you follow it step by step by step, I guarantee you they're going to rank. And I guarantee you they'll be picked up in Google Search Console. If you want my step-by-step -step guide on how to install and how to set up, if you will, your location pages, make sure to comment below and I will give you my guide on how to manually create your location pages. Another video later on, I'm going to go over how to do it with our plugin, but comment below and I'll give you the standard operating procedure on how to make your location pages manually the way we do it. All right, and you definitely are going to want that because it will help make your life a thousand times easier. That way, anytime you get a client or a website, you go, all right, location pages, bop, 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 and do it this way, header this way, header two this way, header one this way. Put the services in there, put the neighborhoods in there, things to do, places to go, map, map embed, stack it up, and then start driving traffic to it. I guarantee you they will rank. All right, my name is William. If you're not already a part of our club or tribe or whatever you want to call it, make sure to hit subscribe below so you can be notified anytime I go live. If you want our standard operating procedure, make sure to comment below and I will get it over to you. Once again, my name is William. You guys be blessed and have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hat. I was a nobody, now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEOs.